In the last video, we created a process to find the grade of one student, but what if we want the same for like 10 students or 100 students? It would be a pain to update the percentage data item for every student and run the process each time. This is where the collection stage and the loop stage comes handy. A collection stage is basically a group of many data items packed in a single data item. It is similar to an array in programming languages. You can imagine a collection like a table with multiple columns. The columns are referred to as fields in Blue Prism. So that is another major difference between a collection and a data item where a collection not only can store multiple values, but it can actually store multiple properties of the same value. Now let me create a collection to store the percentage of 5 students. I'll drag and drop a collection stage into the canvas. Then double click on it and set the name to students. Now we need to define the collection what different columns are going to be there. So in our case we are going to store the percentage of 5 students. It's not really good to have just the percentage alone. We at least need to have a name against each percentage. So my first column will be name. I can add this column by clicking add field. Then type the name of the field as name. Set the field type as text. And I'll type the description as name of the student. My next field will be percentage and I will set the field type to number. Type the description as percentage obtained. Then we can add one more field called grade and set the field type to text. And we will use this field to store the grade that gets calculated instead of having a separate data item or collection like we did in the last video. That is it, we have created three columns. Now we need to enter the five records. So I, I will go to the initial values tab and enter the names of five students and their percentage obtained. And I will leave the grade column blank. Okay, so we have created the collection and we no more need these two data items, percentage and grade. So I'm going to delete them. Now we need to have this entire block here to process all the five records in the collection one by one before it goes to the end. This is where we are going to use the loop option. Loops allow you to get the values from a collection one by one and process them. It is similar to a for each loop that you have in Java or .NET programming languages. So I'm going to add a loop by dragging and dropping it onto the canvas and you can see it automatically came as a pair of stages, loop start and loop end. Let me zoom out one step so we have enough space. We need to contain this block within the loop start and end stages. So I'm going to delete the link between the start and choice stage and place the loop start here. I'll connect the start, loop start and choice stages. Now we need to tell the loop which collection it has to work on. So we will double click the loop start stage and select the collection students and click OK. Now let's take a look at the properties of the choice stage. Here we still have our old data item percentage. We have already deleted it and we need to replace this with the percentage column from the students collection. So I'll expand the collection and I see the students collection and when I expand that I can see each of the columns are returned in the format collection name dot field name. This is exactly how you refer a column in the collection. I'll delete the percentage data item, then drag and drop the students dot percentage field in the same place. Now that I know how to represent a collection field, I'll manually go ahead and type the rest of the entries. I can simply copy the text students dot percentage then double click on percentage and press control V. I'll repeat this until I have replaced all the items. All right, I'll click OK and the choice stage is ready. Now we need to open the calc stage and replace the data item grade with the collection field students.grade. I'll do this for all the six calc stages.
Now we need to connect all the calc stages to the loop end stage because the loop end stage will tell Blue Prism when exactly to pick the next item in the collection. So I'll drag the loop end stage here and start connecting all the calc stages to the loop end stage. I'll then connect the loop end stage to the end stage. Now I'll click refresh and then start to begin the process. You can see the row number increasing when the loop goes to the next record each time. Alright, the process is completed now and let's take a look at the results. I'll double click the students collection and if I see the initial values, it is still the same. But when I go into the current values, the grade column has been filled with the appropriate grades. So this is how the collection and loop stages work.